So, you enter the editor, you have your song here, you have everything ready. Now, you get to get to the fun part, which is timing. The way to time this, you can click here or you can press T, but you'll play the song and you'll tap along and it will suggest a BPM for you. It's suggested 147, we can see if it's accurate. sounds pretty close. The way to make sure that this is accurate is if you skip to the very end of the song, a lot of times it, you may think it's right because this all sounds good, but then if you skip to the end of the map, it's close, but you can see that it's a little bit off. A lot of times the song that you want to map will be timable with only one timing point. Since this is what's called a variable BPM song, this means that the BPM is always changing. If you're a beginner mapper, I do not recommend mapping a song that changes BPM often. Since this guide is intended to be kind of a all cases guide, we're going to use the worst case scenario. There's also a YouTube tutorial that I will link that has more detailed information if you're interested. So we'll have to listen at a slower speed. You can change the playback rate down in the bottom bottom right of the editor. So what you're listening for is you want to make sure each sound lines up. And you can hear that this drum sound starts before the offset. So this means that the offset needs to be earlier. So now you can hear that the drum sound and that click line up. That's exactly what you want. And now you can hear that this one is a little bit early. So this means that you need to slow the BPM down. So we'll go right in between at 147 and then we can add another timing point. The general gist of it is that you want to add a timing point whenever it feels like it's getting off. A lot of times the song that you want to map has already been mapped by someone else, so you can look for it on the website and see how they timed it to see if yours is accurate. One debt to society later. Since the song used in the guide required multiple timing points to be mapped, I will also time a song that requires only one timing point. Once again, most songs will only require one. So if we listen along, You can hear it has a pretty easy to follow sound. So we'll tap along just like we did in the guide. The more you tap, the more accurate it'll get. But we'll go ahead and stop there. It seems to have centered around 196. And if we listen back to the very first beat, you can hear that this timing point comes after. We can try to fix that. That seems to line up pretty close. And we can see if this BPM is correct by skipping to the end of the song. If it is a little bit slower, by the end of the song, it will be very far behind. It didn't seem quite right. It seems like it might even be a little bit fast. We'll try 195. And now you can hear everything lines up. And this may take a couple tries to get, but once you get that right BPM, it'll be very clear because everything will come into sync and you will be good to go and ready to get started with the rest of your map.